And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This is Acts chapter 8, verse 37. This is missing from almost all the other Bibles. What happened? About 300 years after Christ, there was a cult in Alexandria, Egypt, and nothing good ever comes out of Egypt in the Bible, down in Alexandria. They did not believe a lot of things the Bible taught. So they wrote their own Bible, and they left out 200 verses, left out 6,000 parts of verses, and that they developed what is today known as the Alexandrian Manuscripts. Alexandria is where they disputed with Stephen, and back in Acts chapter 6, that's the first mention of Alexandria. This cult believed in baptizing babies, just like many churches today do. Most Christians belong to denominations that practice infant baptism. The Catholics, Eastern and or, uh, Oriental Orthodox, Anglicans, Lutherans, Presbyterians, Congregationalists, Reformed denominations, Methodists, some Nazarenes, and the Moravian Church baptize babies. Now, question, is this, I was so-called baptized as a baby in the Methodist Church. So when someone asked me, are you saved? I said, oh, I've been baptized. I, it, I think it's a way, it's a, it's a trick of the devil to confuse people into what salvation really is. This Alexandrian cult wrote their own Bible, and copies of this from back in the 300s, a few copies are still around. And people say, oh, look how old they are. They have to be better. No, older doesn't mean better. It means nobody used them. They didn't wear them out. The real Christians would wear out their Bible every you know, four or five years. You wear one out. You get a new one. You make a new copy. So there, there's a, quite an argument about the Bible text here. The Westcott and, Westcott and Hort were two guys in England. They got these old Alexandrian manuscripts, three of them. They didn't agree with each other on anything. And they synthesized them and made a new Greek manuscript and published it in 1881. And many people have made English translations of the wrong book. Example, Revised Version, the American Standard Version, the Revised Standard Version, the New World Order Translation, the Jehovah's Witness Bible, the New American Standard, the Good News, the Amplified, the Living Bible, the NIV, all of them and more are good translations of a bad book. It's not that the guys who did this are, are not sincere. They might be highly intelligent. They may know Greek and Hebrew and 40 other languages. But what they're translating is junk. It doesn't matter. It's still wrong. So these guys, they're translating the wrong book. This argument about which Bible is right, we have a ton of books on that in our book. We have a package of books we offer. I just picked up a few of them. Uh, New Age Bible versions. It's like $210 for the whole library. This one, the, New, the King James Bibles by Gail Ripplinger, In Awe of Thy Word. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, we have a whole package, a bunch of books and articles and pamphlets. You get the whole thing for $210, I think. Look on drdino.com. But this is a very important controversy. Somebody's wrong. Here's the NIV, right above my head, right there. Read verse 37 to me, brother. Uh, verse 37 and 36, as they traveled along the that's, road. That's 36. Where's, read verse 37. Uh, there is no 37. There is no 37. <laughs> they went from 36 to 38. Mm -hmm. Oh, they sure did, didn't they? How about the American Standard? They at least put a note, C footnote, at least put the number 37 in there. And it says, late manuscripts insert verse 37. No, no, no. The, the um, Alexandrians took it out. Here's Jehovah's Witness Bible. Or at least they got a line. They took out verse 37 because they believe they don't believe what it says. What was it? What was it they don't like? He, he simply asked a question. The eunuch did. Hey, here's some water. Can I get baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he baptized him. So many people are always trying to add things to, bat, to, to salvation. Salvation is so simple. How do you get saved? You believe with all your heart. That's it. In Acts chapter uh, 16, we'll see that with uh, the, the jailer. Paul and, and Silas are in jail. And the jailer comes in there and says, What must I do to be saved? They said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Like the thief on the cross. Thief on the cross. What can he do? He's a little preoccupied. He can't get baptized. Baptism has nothing to do with salvation. It's a public symbol that you have been saved. That's how you tell things. And it has to be by immersion in water.